Hey there! So if you're a blogger or someone who's thinking about starting a blog, I'm sure the big question on your mind is how much can you really make from blogging? So in this video, I'm going to be doing a deep dive into how much we make from our blog as well as feature other blogs in different niches just so you have an idea of the potential income that blogs have. So when people ask how much money do bloggers make, my answer is simple. It varies. While I would love to be able to give you a solid number, there's just too many factors to consider. What niche the blog is in, if you're working on it full time, or if it's simply a hobby blog making a couple of hundred dollars here and there. Now, however, on a personal level, I'm able to say that as bloggers, my partner Tom and I make more money each month than we once did from both our full-time jobs as a teacher and engineer combined. So want some proof? Here's a feature that Founder Magazine did on us for their Money Matters column. Here's our total revenue from our blog in 2019. So when I say there is money to be made in blogging, there's money to be made in blogging. Now the thing is, we are nothing special in the world of blogging and making money online. There are so many bloggers out there who have managed to turn their blogs into their full-blown businesses, using it to support themselves. Check out these other blogs in a range of niches that have successfully turned their blogs into their income machine. So The Flooring Girl, which is a blog about different types of flooring, makes an average of around $22,000 per month, which goes to show that having a super specific niche pays off. Just a girl and her blog when she was still doing income reports, which is a lifestyle blog, and she was reporting to have earned $40,000 per month on average, and this was a couple years back. Her blog has just grown since then. Pinch of Yum, another huge food blog, which is making around $60,000 per month from her food blog. A Busy Budgeteer, a blog about organizing your money, home, and life, makes around $86,000 per month. This other one, Succulents and Sunshine. It's a blog about succulents. Yes, those cute little plants makes more than $200,000 a year. Fit Mommy in Heels, which is a fashion mom blog, makes around $11,000 monthly. Now, while these examples don't represent the majority of bloggers, it just goes to show how much money can be made in the world of blogging, as long as you have a solid idea, strategy, and a lot of dedication. So if you're unfamiliar about how bloggers can make money, let me give you a brief rundown on the different ways. If you want to learn more about each method, check out our full video on how to make money blogging, which I will link to in the description box below. So how exactly do you make money from your blog? So what I did was I scoured the web and took a look at all the different income reports that's on there. And I'm going to be sharing you some examples from different people just so you get an idea of how much money you can make through these different monetization methods. So the first monetization method is through affiliate marketing. In 2019 alone, we made over $90,000 from affiliate marketing in our travel blog. Now, although we have other monetization methods, this is one of our main sources of income. Affiliate marketing is when you recommend a product or service that you love. Whenever someone clicks on the link on your blog and makes a purchase, you get a portion of that, you get a commission. So this is a great way to monetize your blog because it is pretty passive. Now, a second way on how to monetize your blog is by creating your own digital products. This this is an amazing way to make money from your blog and lots of bloggers create digital products in the form of downloads, printables, fitness guides, or eBooks. Sarah Titus is one of the queens of digital products and she makes over $2 million in 2020 just from selling her printables. Now, a third way that you can make money through your blog is through display ads. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever stumbled upon a food blog, let's say, that where rather than going straight into the recipe, they tell you about their summer spent as a child eating this dish in their backyard? That's because bloggers make money from display ads. So the longer your article is, the more money you can make. Since we bloggers give away our content for free, ads are a great way for us to make some money back. Now, 
For us, although ads aren't a huge focus, in 2019 alone, we made more than $40,000 through display ads from AdThrive. There are tons of other bloggers out there like food blogs who make you know a fraction of this every month. So we know some food blogs who make around $10,000, $20,000 just from display ads from their blog. Now, another way that you can monetize your blog is through sponsored content. The amount of money that bloggers make from sponsored content varies hugely. It all depends on the brand or company that you're working with. Now, some sponsored posts can go up for between $50 to about $200, while others can go up to $1,000 per post. Bailey from Whole Kitchen Sink earned a whopping $4,000 from sponsored posts alone in January of this year. Now, as you can see, I'm citing different examples of different ways you can monetize your blog. And I want you to just get thinking because and see all the different possibilities. Now, another way that you can monetize or another way that bloggers make money from their blogs is through online courses. Now, the popularity of online courses has been on the rise and they're a great revenue stream for bloggers. Just as long as you have a unique selling point and you can provide actual value to your audience. Online courses can be priced from anywhere between $10 to $1,000, while membership sites can start as low as $5 a month onwards. Now, before I move on, in behalf of all course creators out there, please do not just create a course if you're not an established expert in your niche. We only created our course, The Blogging Fast Lane, when we knew we had a unique strategy to share with others. Up to this day, we're constantly using our travel blog, Adventure New, to test out different strategies, which we can share with our students to make sure that everything that we teach is up to date, tried and tested. On a side note, if you do want to know more about our course, check out our free training where we share three things that helped us go from hobby bloggers to six figure owners. Head on over to www.bloggingfastlane.com slash watch. Again, bloggingfastlane.com slash watch. Now, another way that you can make money through your blog is through freelancing. If you're a blogger with a particular skill set, you can use those skills to make some extra money. Whether you're writing, designing, doing social media or trip planning or anything else under the sun, Freelancing is another way for bloggers to take control of their income. You know, there's a food blogger, Kylie, behind Midwest Foodie, who made over $3,500 just from freelance photography in May of this year. As you can see, bloggers make money in tons of different ways, and they're not just limited to what's on the list. Bloggers are completely in control of the way they choose to monetize their blogs, which is part of the fun. Now, I'm sure by now you're wondering, what's the most profitable niche when it comes to blogging? Now, in my opinion, you can gauge a niche's profitability on the average price of products that are in that specific niche. For example, if you're a tech blogger, there are tons of high ticket programs like softwares, gadgets, and different things that you can affiliate, which means that your commissions are generally higher. However, my opinion on this is that all niches can be profitable. You just need a solid strategy. Now, while it may be tempting to start a blog based on profitability alone, I recommend against it. You should choose to start a blog in a niche where you have experience or expertise in. Now, unless you're just outsourcing your content, you need to write about topics that you're knowledgeable and passionate about. This is the real key to making money with a profitable blogging niche. So I have a video which I'll link out to in the description box on how to choose a profitable niche if you don't have one just yet. Now in this video, I give you tips on how to validate your ideas so you don't end up just wasting your time. Now before I end this video, my biggest tip is to create an actual monetization strategy and to focus on it. This means that if you're going down, let's say the affiliate marketing route, focus on that first before launching your own digital products. Trying to implement these strategies all at the same time can end up with you feeling too overwhelmed. Remember, it's better to focus on one thing rather than spreading yourself thinly. So hopefully this video gave you tons of different ideas on how much you can actually make from a blog. Now, if you have any questions or if you enjoyed this video, simply comment below and let me know. As always, if you want more tips on how to profit from your passions through blogging, hit subscribe. 